Hello, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon. I put out videos every single week about loving your life and living your dreams. You definitely want to be a part of it. So today I want to talk to you about how to get things done because at the end of the day, you got to start getting your dreams and your goals and everything accomplished if you want to, you know, move on, move up in your life, right? So what are we doing? Why are we staying still? Why do we know this, but we don't go forward? Because we're stuck in our old ways. We're stuck in these habits. We need to shake things up, get out of this old way of thinking, and start getting things done. Life is filled with shoulda, coulda, wouldas, right? How many people in this world, including probably yourself, are filled with those? Well, we don't want to make any more of those. Right now, we want to start getting things done and really affecting change in our lives. And I'm going to help you. I'm going to, this list is going to help you start getting back into the, the swing of things and really get things done. Okay. So the first tip I have for you is to get started. This is the most important because if you don't do this, then all these other tips are not going to be very helpful because you'll have nothing to do. You'll have nothing to use them on, right? So you got to get started. You got to jump off that hamster wheel that you're on of just like running in place, getting nowhere, hop on off that and get started. We think about all the things that we can't do, all the stuff that's way out of our reach. You know, we're like thinking about this big project, like, oh my goodness, I can't do all that right now. What can you do? That's the real question. Think about your goals, your dreams, your big projects. What things can you do right now to start moving towards those? Don't think about the whole thing. Don't think about all the stuff you can't do yet or can't do it all, whatever. Think about what you can start doing right this second because that's where the real magic happens. When you start doing things that work towards your bigger goals, your bigger dreams, all of that, that is when it just magic just boom okay and then you start doing that consistently that is how things get done folks so get out there get started focus on what you can do next along these same lines start a fund now sometimes we can't just pay for what we need right away you know we got all this these bills we got responsibilities, some of us have children, all this stuff to pay for. So maybe you can't do it right away. Start a fund. PayPal is a really good tool for this. I have all kinds of, what well, they call them goals on there. Christmas fund, vacation fund, my <laughs> next summer's motorcycle fund, all of these funds, all these things that I want to do. So start moving towards it getting closer to what you want by taking action. This is just another way. Start a fund. Now, the key to this fund is you want automatic transfers, okay? You want at least 5, 10, 20, whatever amount you can handle. You want that going towards it every week or every month, every two weeks, whatever works for you. This, you're going to have to, you know, figure out the things that are working for you. So, Start a fund. Again, this is getting you closer to this goal. That's the name of the game. Get yourself there. Take baby steps towards it, right? Um, the next thing is number two, break it down. If you're thinking about this goal on a the whole thing, you're like, oh my God, obviously it's going to be overwhelming. And once we get overwhelmed, do you know what happens? We stop, we procrastinate, we give up altogether because our minds are telling us it's too big, we can't do it, we can't accomplish it, we might as well give up. That's what happens. So you know how you prevent this from happening? You break it down. So I'm going to give you some tips how to break your dream down. So the first little tip is a method called chunking. So basically, you take your big goal, big project, big dream, and you break it down into chunks. Personally, I say about five to seven chunks works, 
Okay, you don't want to do too many, you don't want to do too few, you want to break it down. Now, after you break it down into these smaller chunks, there's a couple things you want to think about. First, focus on that chunk. Do not think about the next one. Don't think about the whole project. Think about just that one chunk you're working on, okay? The other ones don't exist yet, okay? Just that one. And then, number two thing you want to think about is breaking that chunk down further. So personally me, I break that chunk down into a list of tasks. Now this may be a huge list and that's okay, but it's a list of tasks that I can attack every single day. I can do one, two, three, whatever amount of things on this list, I can get started and guess what? You're moving towards your goal. Again, that is the name of the game, just doing something every single day to get towards your big goals and dreams. Do you want to stay stuck right here where you're at forever? Do you want this moment, this whatever your surroundings are, do you want this to be your life forever? If the answer to that question is a big heck no, then you want to get on this, okay? And you want to start making progress towards your goals. I'm probably going to say that to you a thousand times in this video because it is the main takeaway that I want you to have when you leave here, okay? So break it down, okay? That's the next one. So another part of this is working for a certain amount of time and then taking a little break. My personal formula is 30 minutes working, 10 minutes break. You could do this, you can have an hour working, 10 minutes break, or hour and 20 minutes. Again, you wanna make this work for you. But the idea is you want to take a break after so much work, because you don't wanna get you know, all burnt out and just tired. If you sit and you're staring at something for a long time, you get tired sometimes, right? You gotta get up, move around, take a walk. You know, whatever you have to do, go get a snack. Go watch a, a, some TV, whatever it is, get out of your work area and take a break. That will help you because now when you come back to your work, you're going to be at your best. People, they make the mistake of like, I'm just going to work, work, work through all the way through for like five, 10 hours, blah, 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 and never take a break. And then I'm going to get it all done. No, that's not how it works because you're not giving your best work and you may Again, give it up completely because you're too tired. You know, once your body gets like that, run down, tired, hungry, all of that, it, it, it your decision-making skills, they start to get worse and worse as you start feeling more and more depleted. So what you want to do is make sure you always have are eating, make sure you're always taking breaks, and feeling good, feeling at your best, okay? That way, that 30 minutes of work or hour or whatever you decided is going to be your best work. You're going to be at your best, okay? So make sure you're taking time for you, okay? You can't, you can't abuse yourself. You can't just keep beating yourself up and working yourself to death to the bone with no breaks. That's not healthy and it's not good for you or your work, okay? So take a break. Use this method. Know when to multitask. Now, you want to give your full attention to a project, okay? You don't want to be doing all these different projects at one time. You need to have specific times and or specific days for each thing. Because what happens is you're splitting your focus to all these different projects and you're not giving your best work. Okay, you're not getting things done fast enough sometimes, and maybe you might even, again, give up completely. You never know. You do not want to do this, okay? Make the best times to multitask are times like when you're doing laundry or if on a commute, things like that. It, it, you can listen to a podcast or you can get some work done while you're doing laundry. Those are good times to multitask. The times when you're not really 
having to use your brain for one task. Then you can focus on something else. But you want to have your full focus, full attention on what you're doing, especially if it's an important project, okay? So know when to multitask. The next tip I have for you is number three, to prioritize. So I am going to tell you the method that I use and I love it. So when if you ever worked in a hospital or you know somebody, or even if you've seen a show, they use a method to, uh, to figure out what cases are most urgent to the least urgent. And it's called triaging and it is an amazing tactic that you can use in your own life. So basically, you want to categorize all the things that you have to do in your life into three different categories, okay? Now, the first number one category are the most important, most urgent things that you have to get done that are very time sensitive. Those things are number one priority, right? Number two, they're also, you know, somewhat time sensitive. They're somewhat important, but they are less important than those number one things. And there's a little bit of time, a little bit of leeway in there. Then the number three things are, you know, the little things that you do. They're not really that time sensitive. They get done after everything else gets done, right? You know, just little things around the house or, or whatever, you know, you'll figure it out once you make your list. So the first step, you want to make a list of every single thing that you need to do, all your responsibilities, all your to-dos, all your tasks, everything. Make a big old list, right? And then you categorize and prioritize with these three methods or with these three levels. You don't want to make it more than that because our brain works best when it's just these three options. You start getting too many options, you lose your brain, okay? It's, it's gone. So prioritize. Now what's going to happen is number one, you're going to have all the things that you need to get done are going to be getting worked on in the proper order. You're not going to be missing urgent things, you know, time sensitive things that you didn't get done. And you're going to feel so much less stressed. That is like the biggest plus of this because you know that you have a system, you're getting more things done and everything has its own, has its rightful place. We feel good when everything's organized, okay? So this method, I use it in my daily life and I promise you it helps. You got to prioritize things or else it's just like a free for all and and you're just doing random things, you have no plan, it doesn't work. So prioritize triage your life okay now um the next one and the last one that i have for you is visualizing the end result of whatever you're trying to accomplish okay this is powerful because this will give you motivation once you see in your mind you know that end result what you're working for you get motivated because you want that. You want to get towards that. You know why you're working, what you're trying to gain, okay? Now, my method that I use um, right before I go to bed, when I'm falling asleep at night, this is a powerful time to visualize because your brain, when you're falling asleep, is put into an alpha state, which is the state when your brain is most susceptible to information and to, you know, like affirmations and positive thoughts and things like that. So you, this is a really, really good time. Anyway, right as I'm going to sleep, I visualize what it's going to look like when I accomplish my goals, how I'm going to feel, right? I take time and I'm there and I'm laying and I'm thinking about all of the amazing things that I'm going to accomplish, what it's going to look like when my dreams come true. And you know what? When I, as I'm going to sleep, I'm feeling amazing and I wake up way more motivated because I can see what's going on. So not only does this give you motivation, but also it's putting you on the same frequency, the same vibration as your desires. So this is seriously a win-win. Win. Definitely try this method out. I I know you'll love it. 
So those are my tips for helping you start getting things done. But the main thing is do it. Get out there and do it. You deserve a life that you love, that is amazing, filled with adventure, a life that you are achieving all of your dreams and all of your goals. You deserve that. And the only thing you have to do is get out there. Do it. That's it. You start doing it, you take baby steps towards it, things are going to start happening. Your life is going to change, your life is going to shift, and you're going to start loving your life. And you know that's what I'm all about. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out lovefitlife.net for more tools on how to love your life and live your dreams. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that thumbs up.